This toning workout is guaranteed to target your whole body and make you stronger. Try it. Tone your body fast with this 10-minute muscle building workout. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're targeting every major muscle group with a series of exercises designed to build strength, burn fat, and tone your entire body. Let's get started. First up, we have the kettlebell thruster. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart, holding a kettlebell in each hand at shoulder height, with your palms facing inward. Lower yourself into a squat, pushing your hips back while keeping your chest up and your weight evenly distributed across your feet. As you push back up to standing, Use the power from your legs to drive the kettlebells overhead in one explosive motion. Lower the kettlebells back down to shoulder height with control and immediately drop into the next squat. The kettlebell thruster targets your quads, glutes, core, shoulders, and triceps, while also giving your cardiovascular system a challenge. Perform three sets of 10 to 12 reps. Here's a fact. Compound lifts like deadlifts and squats engage multiple muscle groups simultaneously, making them highly effective for overall muscle development. Next is the Dumbbell Deep Push-Up to Renegade Row. Get into a high plank position with a dumbbell in each hand, positioned directly under your shoulders. Perform a deep push-up, lowering your chest towards the floor, while keeping your body in a straight line from head to heels. Push back up to the starting position, and then row one dumbbell towards your rib cage, keeping your elbow close to your body. Lower the dumbbell with control, perform another push-up, and then repeat the row on the opposite side. This exercise is a powerful combination that works your chest, shoulders, triceps, back, and core. Perform three sets of eight to 10 reps per side, focusing on controlled movements. Did you know, exercises involving heavy weights like barbell deadlifts and bench presses stimulate testosterone and growth hormone production. Now, we're moving on to dumbbell jumping squats. Stand with a dumbbell in each hand by your sides, feet hip width apart. Lower yourself into a squat by bending at the knees and hips, making sure your chest stays lifted and your back is straight. From the bottom of the squat, explode upwards into a jump, extending your hips, knees, and ankles fully. Land softly, immediately lowering yourself back into a squat to absorb the impact and prepare for the next jump. Dumbbell jumping squats are an excellent plyometric movement that builds explosive lower body power while also working your quads, glutes, and calves. Perform three sets of 10 to 12 reps, focusing on controlled landings. Fun fact, exercises targeting both pushing and pulling muscles like the bench press and weighted pull-ups help maintain balance in upper body development. Next up is the inchworm and mountain climbers. Start in a standing position with your feet hip width apart. Bend at your hips, keeping your legs as straight as possible, and place your hands on the floor. Walk your hands forward until you're in a high plank position. Once in the plank, perform a set of mountain climbers by quickly driving each knee towards your chest in an alternating fashion. After completing the mountain climbers, walk your hands back towards your feet and stand up tall. This sequence is great for increasing flexibility, working the entire core, and elevating the heart rate for an effective cardio boost. Perform three sets of 30 to 45 seconds, keeping a steady pace throughout. Check this out. Incorporating exercises that target the arms, shoulders, and legs promotes well-rounded muscle growth and definition, giving you an overall more aesthetic physique. Now, we have the body saw plank. Get into a forearm plank position with your elbows directly under your shoulders and your body in a straight line. Engage your core and, using your forearms and toes, gently rock your body forward and back, creating a sawing motion. Keep your movements controlled and avoid letting your hips sag. The body saw plank is a great way to increase the intensity of a standard plank, placing extra emphasis on the core muscles, particularly the lower abs, while also challenging shoulder stability. Perform three sets of 20 to 30 seconds, 
Focusing on keeping your core tight and avoiding excessive movement of the hips. Avoid using your shoulders excessively. Here's something interesting. Movements that involve balancing a load, like dumbbell front rack lunges, require significant core engagement. Next is the dumbbell Romanian deadlift. Hold the dumbbell in each hand, standing with your feet hip width apart. Keep your knees slightly bent and hinge at your hips to lower the dumbbells down along the front of your legs, keeping them close to your body. Make sure to maintain a flat back and keep your shoulders pulled back as you lower the dumbbells until you feel a stretch in your hamstrings. Squeeze your glutes to bring yourself back to the starting position. Romanian deadlifts are perfect for targeting the posterior chain, particularly the hamstrings, glutes, and lower back, helping to build muscle and improve flexibility in the lower body. Perform three sets of 10 to 12 reps, focusing on the hip hinge. Did you know? Movements like full squats and lunges mimic real-life activities, improving functional fitness, and making everyday movements like bending and lifting. Now, we're moving on to the medicine ball, slam burpee. Hold a medicine ball with both hands, standing with your feet shoulder width apart. Raise the ball overhead, then forcefully slam it down onto the ground. After slamming the ball, immediately drop into a burpee by placing your hands on the ball jumping your feet back into a plank position, and then performing a push-up. Jump your feet back towards the ball, pick it up, and stand up explosively, lifting it overhead again. Medicine Ball Slam Burpees combine explosive power, cardio, and full body strength, making them great for burning calories while building muscle endurance. Perform three sets of eight to 10 reps. Here's a great benefit. Isolation exercises, such as standing biceps curls or skull crushers, target specific muscle groups. Next is the bicycle crunch. Lay on your back with your hands behind your head, legs lifted and knees bent at a 90 degree angle. Start by bringing your left knee towards your right elbow while extending your right leg straight out. Alternate sides by bringing your right knee towards your left elbow keeping a steady pace as you rotate your torso. Make sure to keep your movements controlled and your lower back pressed into the ground. Bicycle crunches are excellent for targeting the entire core, particularly the obliques, while also engaging the hip flexors. Perform three sets of 20 to 30 reps per side, focusing on squeezing your core with each twist. Ensure you breathe out on every repetition. Check this out. Exercises like reverse grip incline bench rows create constant tension, which is vital for muscle hypertrophy, leading to greater gains in strength. Now, we have the dumbbell lateral to front raise. Stand with your feet hip width apart, holding a dumbbell in each hand by your sides. Begin by lifting the dumbbells laterally to shoulder height, keeping a slight bend in your elbows. At the top of the movement, transition into a front raise by bringing your hands in front of your body. Lower the dumbbells down, then reverse the motion by lifting them back to shoulder height and then lowering them to your sides. This sequence effectively targets the shoulders, helping to develop all three heads of the deltoids, creating rounded, defined shoulders. Perform three sets of eight to 10 reps, focusing on smooth transitions and avoiding swinging. Fun fact. Strengthening your glutes and hamstrings with moves like the banded glute ham raise helps improve power in compound lifts and athletic performance. Finally, we have the kettlebell figure eight swing. Stand with your feet wider than shoulder width apart, holding a kettlebell in one hand. Start by lowering the kettlebell between your legs and swinging it up around one leg, passing it to the other hand in a figure eight motion as you bring it around the opposite leg. Continue moving the kettlebell in this figure eight pattern, keeping your hips hinged and your core tight. The figure eight swing is a dynamic movement that builds strength and coordination in the lower body while also working the core and improving grip strength. Perform three sets of 30 to 45 seconds, focusing on maintaining control of the kettlebell and keeping your core engaged throughout. Congratulations for completing today's workout. These exercises are designed to challenge your strength 
endurance, and stability, helping you build muscle while keeping your heart rate up for maximum calorie burn for long-term gains. I challenge you to complete this workout three to four times a week for the next few months. Keep practicing, stay consistent, and remember that every rep gets you closer to your goals. Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed today's workout, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and share this video with friends and family who may benefit from it too. We look forward to seeing you in our next video, tomorrow at 8 p.m. UK time. You won't believe the power of 10 minutes a day for ABS.